This Emerson video will guide you through the process of configuring an 8800 vortex meter using a Rosemount handheld field communicator. To begin, you will need an 8800 vortex meter and a handheld field communicator. To get started, the main menu will appear, prompting you to choose your communication protocol. Navigate to Heart and select Enter on the keypad. After the Heart application opens, you will see option number 1 to navigate offline and option number 2 to proceed online. Arrow down to option number 2 and hit Enter to go online. If you see the message, No device found, press any key to continue. When you make the online selection, be sure to verify that your meter is turned on and that connections are made properly. Note, the power supply should be 24 volts or higher. Anything less will not pick up your handheld. Also, be sure that the handheld device is running in series with your power source across a minimum 250 ohm resistance. On the main menu, you'll see a list of options, Overview, Configure, and Service Tools. Select Configure, and then Guided Setup. Next, select Initial Configuration to see a list of options, Basic Setup, Configure Display, and Optimize DSP. Select Basic Setup. A prompt will appear verifying that a guided procedure for basic setup is about to be entered. At this time, you can either abort or proceed. Select OK to proceed. Next, a pop-up window appears with your device's serial number shown in an input box. Verify that it's the correct number by looking for a sticker or plaque on the body of your meter. If a different number needs to be entered, type in the number using the keypad. You'll notice that if new numbers need to be entered, you'll have to hit each button multiple times to navigate from symbols to numbers. If single numbers or characters in the input box need to be deleted, hit the FN key on your keypad. Enabling the FN key allows you to delete one character at a time. Once the desired numbers are entered, hit the FN key again to turn it off. Once finished, select Enter. Next, you need to select whether your meter has the optional temperature sensor. Select Without a temperature sensor unless you are connecting to the Rosemount 8800 multivariable meter. The guide next asks whether your process is a liquid or gas application. Choose the appropriate process state. For this tutorial, we've chosen liquid water as a process example operating in English units at arbitrarily chosen process values. Next, select the desired process temperature units, and then input the operating temperature of your process. Now enter the density specifications and select Enter to proceed. Next, the proper K factor needs to be entered. To find the appropriate K-factor for your meter, look at the vortex meter body. This number will be on the Rosemount plaque on the side of the meter body. Enter the corresponding K-factor and then select Enter to proceed. Once the K-factor is entered, a warning screen appears for upper and lower range configuration. This screen may pop up again throughout the guided setup. This is standard, so hit OK to continue each time you're prompted by this screen. Next, you need to make a flange type selection. Navigate to the appropriate flange type corresponding to your meter and hit Enter to proceed. A unit selection now needs to be made for the mating pipes with which the meter will be used. Select either English or SI units, then hit Enter to proceed. Next, the guide asks for the mating pipe ID input diameter. Choose the appropriate size and hit Enter to continue. Now the primary variable must be elected. For this example, we will choose volumetric flow. After this, enter the appropriate units that correspond with the primary variable. Now enter the lower primary value, and upper primary value into the input boxes and hit Enter to proceed. 
Next, enter the first order damping factor. This is usually standard at 2. Once satisfied, hit Enter to continue. Finally, the Optimize Signal Processing screen appears with a list of reference densities. Select the value that's closest to your process operating density, but slightly lower. This will ensure that your filters are adjusted correctly to ensure proper signaling within the process. After making your selection, hit Enter to finish the basic configuration. This concludes the basic configuration for your 8800 Vortex using a handheld field communicator.